Good morning. I'm Officer Erin Spilker with the Lincoln Police Department. I'm the Public Information Officer. I want to thank you all for being here today. Uh, we'll be doing a press conference regarding um, the shooting from this weekend on Dakota Street. Um, Chief uh, Brian Jackson will be giving a statement followed by questions, um, and then we'll resume our normal media briefing following that. Thank you. Chief. Good morning, Acting Chief Brian Jackson, uh, Lincoln Police Department. On June 20th, 2021, approximately 6.26 a.m. in the morning, Lincoln police officers responded to a report of a shooting in the 1800 block of Dakota Avenue, or Dakota Street. When officers arrived, they located 78-year-old Janet Katopka inside the residence with a gunshot, gunshot wound to her head. Lincoln Fire and Rescue transported her to a local hospital uh, in life-threatening condition. Early this morning, Janet succumbed to her injuries and died. Janet's family has been notified of her death. We extend our thoughts and condolences to her family and friends. And we ask the public to respect their privacy and allow them to grieve her death. LPD investigators interviewed multiple people at the scene, including a family member who called 911 after hearing gunfire and found Janet with a gun and gunshot, wound, gunshot wound. Crime scene technicians processed the scene, recovered evidence, and located the firearm suspected to have been used in this incident. Based on the interviews and evidence located at the scene, inve investigators developed probable cause to believe that 80-year-old John Katabka was responsible for the shooting uh, of Janet, his wife. Investigators placed Katabka into custody on June 20th, 2021 at approximately 9 a.m. He was cited and lodged at the Lancaster County Jail for first-degree assault and use of a deadly weapon to commit a felony. Since Janet succumbed to her injuries, the charges will be reevaluated re and an autopsy will be scheduled. Uh, we would ask anybody with any additional information and may encourage them to contact us at 4416000 or they can make an anonymous report to Crime Stoppers at 402-475-3600. I'm not going to answer any questions. What kind of additional information are you seeking from the public in this case? Um, you know, we don't know what we don't know. Um, we have um, uh, a lot of information, but we don't know if conversations could have been had by um, in individuals involved in this case with others. If they have information that may suggest uh, uh, pre-planning or a conversation of the event, we certainly would, would encourage somebody to, to come forward and share it with us. Essentially, he did this because his wife has Alzheimer's and her condition was deteriorating. How important is it to let families know that there are resources out there if they are experiencing hardships? In, in, uh, in, in this case, um, I would, I would focus late, uh, less on these events as opposed to, just as you say, encourage individuals who face themselves in similar situations of a family member who is unable to care for themselves, uh, the stress that they may cause on, on the individual family selves to, to find resources. Uh, they're there, they're available, and we would suggest that uh, they always look at those avenues uh, prior to taking drastic actions. Uh, once again, talking less about this case, um, um, certainly the information that we have developed would indicate just that, uh, a, a family, uh, husband and wife who've been married over 57 years, uh, one, of, one of the spouses um, being uh, significantly ill. Again, there is, uh, our recommendation would be to seek out, identify, find resources there there are out there um, the victim in this case janet had um, uh, advanced alzheimer's uh, there are alzheimer's associations out there that we would uh, certainly direct people towards uh, who can could uh, if not find the resources necessary direct them to opportunities and options that they may have available to them to be clear janet was 77 years old uh 78. 78. What, what possible charges are you guys looking at right now? Uh, does it all depend on what the autopsy or whatever that 
Um, that's the information the county attorney, who's, who will ultimately make the final charging decision, um, will, will review uh, to make that uh, final decision. Certainly, um, they could be upgraded from the first degree assault charges and the use of a weapon charges that he currently faces. All right. Thank you.